know we've already done a video on the incredible event center and rooftop gardening at Flinty Mercantile. I'm friends with your mom, Tracy, and now I think I'm friends yes. with her oh, daughter, there. We're Brittany, there. who, as we have learned, this was basically your idea and a college project. Tell and us a little bit that, about that. My mom's being very humble. It was absolutely not just my idea. I was, I was brought on and got to help uh, with the sustainability uh, component and I studied entrepreneurship so at college I got to use this concept for one of my capstone projects and write the business plan that actually that we used and it all worked according to plan and she is a proud graduate of Oklahoma State yes, University go yes, pokes so we're keeping it all real here perfect and this place is just incredible you guys I've said earlier that I have wanted to do this for a long time and we couldn't because of COVID but now very knock on wood very gratefully we we feel very fortunate that we can come in here in this incredible store in this incredible location automobile alley right near downtown oklahoma city so tell us a little bit about the history of this building in the venue yeah so we got lucky with the great building but not after having looked almost everywhere we were looking for about 3,000 square feet for everything, for venue, store, everything. And we couldn't find anything that fit that nine years ago. And we finally looked at this building knowing it was way more than what we wanted. But we walked in and we, we actually drove up to the showing, my mom and I, in her 1957 red Chevrolet pickup. <laughs> and we jumped out and we had driven that to every single showing. We got out and we walked in and again, huge, way bigger than we thought what we thought we needed or wanted. And then they were like, and this was the very first original Chevrolet dealership in Oklahoma. Oh, that is. And we were like, okay, we're gonna have to figure out, figure this out and make it work. And it actually all worked out perfectly because the store is in the front half of the building and the venue access is in the back half. So it's, we joke that it's kind of like a modern day Cracker Barrel. You have to walk through the store uh -huh, to get uh -huh. to the venue. So they really, they feed each other. You know, any anyone that comes in to shop could also potentially find the venue and anyone who comes to the venue could find the shop. So they, yeah. They work well. So we've got a marketing genius here. I think that's pretty obvious, but I just love the story behind it. And I love the fact that it is definitely a retail location with a mission. So tell me a little bit, you said mentioned sustainability. Yeah, absolutely. So I studied entrepreneurship and sustainability together at Oklahoma State and got to help create curriculum around that that still exists, which is wonderful. Oh, wow. Yes, um, but the whole, the whole premise, uh, everything I learned in school and at my uh, internship in Boston with a company called Sustainalytics led me to understand that business is really the, the biggest power in the entire world. It's the one thing we all have in common. Everything is driven by the dollar. You know, government has a place, uh, individuals have a place, nonprofits, the church, all of those things are important, but really business is the one thing that's gonna get the job done and it can be a great power for bad, but it can also be a great power for good. Well, and definitely for the community. And I love the fact that, first of all, that she's so impassioned. I also love the fact that this is another female owned business that has really hit its stride. And the fact that it is a family business, a mother daughter partnership is just absolutely incredible. If, if you live in the Oklahoma City Metroplex area and you have not been here, you simply must come. I, you know me, you guys, I'm a huge thrifter and I don't do a ton of shopping. My cart is already full here. I've already got a stack of stuff that's on the checkout counter. But well, I- And you can feel good about that because we're, every product is sustainably sourced. We're women owned, locally owned, Native American owned. So your dollars are, I mean, you're voting with your dollars and you're yeah. saying, I want to see more of this and I support this and- So your mission my supports money. my mission right. as a consumer. And I absolutely, absolutely love that. But I also want to point out, if you are visiting Oklahoma City, which I kind of think is the new Austin, it's yes. so cool right now, you guys. I think you need to make sure that this is a destination. When you come, make sure to drive through Automobile Alley and make sure that you come to Plenty Mercantile and see this amazing place. You can say hello to Brittany, her mom, Tracy, Sage, Connor, any of the amazing people that work here. They really 
know their stuff and they can, I think, help you flesh out ideas that will just be making your brain go pop when you see all this fun stuff. Totally. So let's start out. So my, because there's so much stuff, I think I'm going to have to break this down into components. Okay. So today's episode, we will call um, Bugs, Birds, and Bangles. Perfect. How, how's that? I love alliteration. So let's start out in the bug section because my friend Carrie that you guys know um, from here on YouTube and Instagram has been just so helpful to us. She's an amazing photographer. She is, I call her the bug whisperer. I love bugs. And so we, we just bought her some bugs. Tell us about these amazing paper sculpture, I yeah. guess. So they're, uh, they're called 3D puzzles. They come flat in a little cardboard box and then you build them into the 3D object that you see there. And they can stand upright or they all have a little hanging apparatus on the back so they can hang on a wall as well. Um, but the, they're so fun and, and beautiful in and of themselves, but there's a bonus, just like with all the products in our store. So they are 100% uh, post-consumer recycled material and soy-based inks, so non-toxic. Um, if you happen to need to throw them away for some reason, they won't leave a chemical trace. Um, and then the company also plants trees. So again, using business for yeah. good and advancing the things we want to see around the world. Yeah, not just a win-win, a win-win-win-win-win. Yes. Now, in I, style. In style. And I warn you guys that it is, it, it's a time sucker though, because <laughs> I don't know how long Stuart and I stood here <laughs> trying to ex you know to decide exactly which bugs really express what we wanted to yes. say and which ones kind of looked good together. I think if you're looking for an inexpensive way to decorate a loft or an apartment or a kids room, these yes. would just be so fabulous yes. in a nursery. Absolutely. And they're easy to <coughs> ship too because they're flat and they come like a puzzle. So not only are they fun to, you know, fun to, to look at at the end of the end product, but they're also a puzzle and, you know, educational in the process. Yeah, just, I, I just absolutely love them on so many different levels. We did too. When we found them at market, I cried. That's, oh, yeah. That's how yeah. emotional I got. They're just so fun. Yeah, they just are, are so, so fun. And I love the fact that you're so excited and so, <laughs> it's and, weird. yeah, she's as excited about her bugs as I am about, I my, love finding people about, better, my, so. about my gardens. And, and again, it's tutorial, it's instructive. It, it feeds into both of our missions for con continuing education and constant learning, um, both not only um, in, Entomeniology, what's the study of bugs? Entomology, the study of bugs, but also artistic expression and how to express yourself creatively. So now let's come over to, not that I don't love the bugs, but I'm really into the bangle section. How so let's come over here and let's start out. This is what I mean about innovative, one of a kind products. So we have to talk about these rings. Yes, so these are called knockout rings and they are acrylic. So you wear them and they look just like a regular ring, but they are designed to also be self-protection. So when you feel threatened, um, a lot, you know, I grew up learning to put your keys between your fingers so that if anything happens, you could use that to protect yourself. But with this ring, you just wear it and then you just flip it right here and now you have that as a Okay, method. and this was designed by someone who actually, um, this was part of her self-healing process and everything, and she came up with this idea yes. based on a, a negative experience yes. she had yep, had. exactly, turning it into something that's helpful. Isn't that cool? Does this work on husbands and photographers? <laughs> it hasn't been tested, but... <laughs> I might need to buy a test model, <laughs> Stuart. What do you think? But they come in different colors and they've got kind of a modern chic yeah, vibe. And you can stack them too for a different look. So that one, you know. And, and did your mom tell me that a portion of the proceeds go back to something or did I make that up in my head? No, they do. They go back to, um, so all of our products have some mission um, and I believe that these go back to uh, women, women empowerment in, in some form. We can find out more about that. Okay, so these are these are just beyond fun. These are beyond fun. Okay, so tell me about and and I like the fact that you have different styles of jewelry that again speak to different kinds of tastes. Exactly. So you've got really mod acrylic 60s vibes yes. kind of pieces that I just love. Yep. And then this necklace I'm wearing actually today um, is a different, you know, 
these earrings go with them, actually. Um, wooden, simple, but still kind of fun. It also comes in this beautiful color. Uh, but jewelry is really a way for, is a proven way historically for women to help pull themselves out of poverty and support their families while still working from home. So that's why we see a lot of jewelry lines that fall into our mission. So people, women can stay at home, take care of their babies, uh, raise their families and, and provide for and their families. And practice, yes, private, again, a very, very creative um, artisanal exercise. Like these are just, this is just a, truly a work of art. So these are made by, in uh, Seaside, Florida, by domestic women refugees who are fleeing um, abusive homes and, and need a safe place to, to live without moving into a full-time job yet. And I love these because they have kind of an Oklahoma flavor. They, they speak yeah. to the beadwork of native. the Native American culture here. Yes. I just really, really like that. And jewelry is a good um, kind of micro expression of the whole store. So with jewelry and throughout the entire store, you'll find on purpose a a product for every interest, but also every price range, every spending mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. budget. So we want little ones to come in with their allowance and find a bracelet. Like these bracelets are, I think, a dollar each, and they're made of um, upcycled telephone wire. So you know, they can come in, buy a bundle for themselves, and then, you know, yeah. grandma who can yeah. buy a, a yeah. nice heirloom piece for herself. Yeah, so I really just... want the whole family to feel welcome and, and cared for and thought of here. And it almost has, the aura here is almost of, uh, definitely of a mercantile, but of a dollar store kind of vibe, but a, do a dollar store with treasures. And the other thing that I like about it is everything has a very one of a kind feel. So, yes. I mean, look at these. How Aren't those fun? fun? They're made by those? women in Mexico. <laughs> Just so fun. A little Carmen Miranda. <laughs> Carmen Miranda yes. comes to, to Oklahoma. I, I just really love that. I love these. Yeah, so you like, um, that's the same line as that beaded bracelet you pulled out. So those are all made in Seaside, Florida as well. And I really, I'm, I'm a girl who likes really big earrings. So if love you're it. somebody that likes big earrings, then this place, this whole area can really speak to yeah. you. But if you, if you are someone who likes things that are a little more demure, Yep, simple. We like simple too. Then there's some other pieces over here. Yep. Beautiful turquoise there. Fun, Love those. Fun rings. Actually, that ring I took off to show you that other ring is from here as well. This is a line we've carried from the very beginning. I wear that one every day. Um, but big statement rings, simple rings, brass, gold, beaded. Yeah, you just, name it. just. Oh, and here's some telephone wire yeah, rings. Are those fun? Yeah, yeah so three dollars. Yeah, very, very, very fun and stackable. Very yep. much, very much on trend. So we'll go around to this side, and there are just there are just little goodies everywhere. I just can hardly stand it. Um, just things. Stuart now. Stuart has put in a request because he wants a. a bracelet like this, but only in brown, because he's got beads that he wears every day, but he would like something like that in brown. Well, in, we, in wood. We can see if we can make that happen. That's a really cool company. This is actually their display right here. So each bracelet, each color coordinates with a different cause. And it's also on the tag so that when you gift it, people know what you're supporting. So this one is helping improve children's health and education. And, and this would be a great gift for somebody who has everything. Absolutely. I mean, if you, if you want to give them some, some kind of, of you know, tangible expression of love, but also something that will speak to what's important to them. Absolutely. Perfect for someone who has everything. Okay, so now let's go on to the third part of our, our triptych that we're walking through today, and that is... That is all about the birds and such fun stuff you have. And a little bit more on bugs. We have we love bumblebees here. Our rooftop that you visited earlier is a pollinating pocket. It's one of the only in downtown Oklahoma City. So bug, uh, butterflies can stop, rest, feed, and then move on. Um, so we love bumblebees. Uh, this is a little bumblebee house. Here's another bug house. And then, yes, we love birds here. So this is a a great uh, acrylic birdhouse so you can see everything that's happening and it attaches to your window. Uh, and then these guys, we can show you more of those. Oh, the, oh my gosh. Yes. 
these, you guys, are, are the dearest things ever. And you can put these out year round. I, I asked Tracy about that. You can put these out year round. What a great like housewarming gift. If you're visiting someone this summer yep. and you're staying in their home, this would make a great housewarming gift. Another gift that's great for the person who has everything. Yes. Um, I was looking at these little owls. I've got a friend who has an account called Silver in the Barn. Yes. And wouldn't that be so, so dear? Yes, and they can sit like they are on that display or they come with a little hang tag so they could hang in the tree too. And the, the houses are actually, there's a, a wood structure underneath the bird seed. So once the bird seed is eaten, you'll still be left with a bird house that can be left out or painted. Um, and it you know doesn't have to be doesn't have to take up space inside and it's it's functional. We and yet, these are charming enough and they've got enough of a childlike appeal that these would make great kids gifts, Absolutely. I think. Something yes. that's enduring that they didn't just use and dispose of, yep. but something that they, again, they can learn learn as they play and I, I'm sure they all come with instructions on what you can do yep. to entice entice our little critters. And I mean, like, look at this. Yeah, so there's some larger pieces as well. That one has cool corn cobs on the side. The only bad thing is, is it's so cute. As much as I <laughs> love the birds, I just don't, I, I don't know. I'm conflicted about that, them coming and eating it. Yes. Well, we and, have uh, some cylinders over here I can show you too that are very functional. And let me, let me, so yeah. whimsy is not, disregarded so you've got cute little again at all price points right fun little whimsical things yes and so that that product um, its qualifying factor for our purchasing principles is that that company gives back to education without borders so a portion of every product that they sell goes back to that mission so while it's not you know eco-friendly or made in the usa it does use business to advance good in some way yeah, and, and that would qualify and, and these are actually yes and these are actually made in china so just because something is made in china don't completely disregard right. them for um you know just don't be absolutist i guess about completely disregarding totally, yeah. them it's all about trade-off decisions right now um, and the more we support decisions like mm -hmm. that to give back and the more we support Made in America, the easier it will be for more people to do that and it'll drive the cost down for the end consumer. So and good environmental the practices the world over. Absolutely. Okay, so can we come over this way yes. now? Because, uh, and there is, there's so much here, you guys. I, I really feel like I'm, I'm giving some of the other stuff short shrift, but I have to, I just have to tell you, we'll do another segment um, on some of the other areas of the store, but we're back to the birds over here. And I just literally gasped when I saw. Isn't he adorable? When I, you know, I love Santa Fe. Yes. I love that part of, of the country. It really speaks to me, the, the West. And this one, oh my gosh. So unique. The of Mission San Juan Capistrano. Isn't amazing? It's just so fun. Yeah. Now, if you were visiting a friend and staying with him in Santa Fe. Perfect. How perfect a and, gift. And these are all made by a family owned company in Texas. Oh my gosh. Let me, let me show all of the different, yeah. let me just show all of the yeah. different cute little options. And then outside of them, those being adorable, they're, they're amazing bird seed. The birds absolutely love them. So if you want something that's more functional, we have these cylindrical bird seed uh, cylinders and they fit on these little feeders. So you hang this, you slide this on, and then you don't have to lug out a bag of bird seed. And my mom has one at her house and it is attracting the most amazing, beautiful birds. Yes. In downtown Oklahoma city. Um, and then we also have this. Yeah. Flaming yeah I have to say, yeah, never <laughs> overlook an opportunity to stick it to the squirrels yes. in, in, in my book. So tell us about this. Yeah, so a lot of people, they love the bird seed, but they're like, I, I can't buy it cause my squirrels will just eat it. So they came up with this concept and it has a pepper on the seed that doesn't register to birds because they are not mammals and they don't have the, the biology to register heat at all. So squirrels as mammals can't take it, can't take the heat, but it doesn't affect birds at all. It also comes in the cylinders so you could slide it on there or in the bag with an existing bird feeder. And I. So often when my when my mother-in-law was still alive and when my mom was still alive, they just loved to look out yes. 
nice. look out of assisted living and look at the birds. But also, even if you're still living in your own home, it's hard to get a heavy bag of bird up. seed yep. and refill you know, refill your, your bird feeders and such. So I think this is just brilliant and such a thoughtful, such a thoughtful gift, not only for your loved one, but also, also for the birds. And functional. There's, yeah, functional. There's little waterproof sketchbooks. This would appeal to my husband. Yes. Um, so first, first pocket knives, we want to get kids outside and involved. Um, back to bugs. This is a beautiful all wood um, bug museum. And then we have some more fun over here. And all of this stuff is so seasonally appropriate. I mean, it's just, it, it is just, there's just so many, so many things to explore. And then we try really hard to make education fun. So we have a lot of steam oriented products that this one is outdoors. You can watch how the, the vines grow Ooh, up. I, I need to get this cool? and we need to demonstrate that. Yeah. We could do a time lapse on that. That would be really, that would, that be, would be really cool. a fun thing a fun thing to do yeah. so i'm not sure where where did we get that we got it right, right there here. so you could do a double wide yep you could totally <laughs> yep. you could hang multiples of these and have a bird feeding condo <laughs> which i think is just a wonderful idea so um i one last thing that you simply must show us that is the most fun the most fun thing ever, and we'll take it, literally, we will take it away and, and take off with this. Tell us a little bit oh, yes. about this incredible, uh, this incredible electric vehicle on Automobile Alley. And once again, Stuart, would you mind showing that once again, it's raining. <laughs> I've talked about it so frequently recently it's raining again our plants love it plants love it yes uh yes our gardens definitely love it yes. but tell us about yeah, this yeah absolutely so this is called a moke it is a like she said an all natural or not all natural all electric <laughs> vehicle and 100 percent made in america so falls into our purchasing principles perfectly and plenty is now the authorized oklahoma dealer for them so not only will we use it for our own um, pop-up events and downtown deliveries that we're about to start, but you can also buy your own. So you can come in, we can test drive this one, and then you can pick out your own colors. And it takes uh, 60 to 90 days because they are absolutely made to order in Sarasota. And then you'll, you can get yours delivered right to you. The coolest part for me is they, all, they are all electric, but usually that requires panel work from an electrical standpoint, which is an additional cost. But these guys plug straight into a regular wall outlet. So no additional cost on that end. Um, they are street legal. They go 25 miles an hour. Uh, you can hose it off. It comes with a bimini, like a, a, a cloth top. And they actually were original in the 60s and 60s um, in the James Bond movies, if you go back and watch the beach scenes, they like cruise up in it and all hop out on the beach. So they've been around for a long time. But and weren't they, they meant to be dropped out of airplanes or yes, something? Yes, originally, yes. They were dropped out of, um, for, for their reason, the military um, and the Air Force. They dropped them out and they used those uh, to transport materials. So they're adorable, um, kind of a cross between a golf cart and a little Jeep but they'd be great in a, you know, a gated community to go to the clubhouse, um, out at the lake, yeah. uh, if you live downtown. My, my mom just lives a, a block away from here, so she just drives it over here. It looks like a, a cross between one of those Range Rover Defenders and a kind of a safari vehicle yes, yeah. when, you, when you take one of these yeah. driving, driving safaris. So we're gonna end on that note. If it weren't raining, we might literally drive out the front door. That's what we do. So because this, deal, this, this building was the very first dealership in Oklahoma, we have the original 100 year old doors. And so those open up all the way and we just drive our car right out. And in the the winter, we pull that 1957 red Chevrolet into the store and it's here every holiday. So we decorate, we put Christmas trees in the back and it's, it's now become a tradition because we opened that very first year with it inside the store. And I heard that when you didn't have it one year, there was almost a riot. Yes. So, we're not happy, so it is here so, to stay. 
whether it's at Christmas time, it's in the middle of summer, it's the 4th of July, no matter what, if you're visiting Oklahoma City, you definitely need to come by here. If you are in Oklahoma City and you have not heretofore already been in, you definitely need to experience the joy, the magic, the eco-friendliness, and... And we have two other locations, one in Edmond for our North our North guests, um, 15th and Bryant, it's also a big store. And then we have a tiny little, we call it a fun size, snack size shop over in Chisholm Creek by Top Golf. And so I heard maybe even at the airport? We, we have the airport contract, yes. So there will be a, a, a plenty in the new Will Rogers Airport in the next few months. So they are definitely spreading the good and spreading the news everywhere. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you.